Hi YouTube, it's Rico with Jade, your fans makeup artist, so welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm just going to be doing a review on the Revlon Matte, um, Revlon Color Burst Matte Balms. I do have three of them. I have, um, let's see, one, two, three, like maybe three or four of them from the original collection. I do like those. But I'm intending to giving some away because I don't really wear them or I just don't like the color of them. Sorry, I always adjust my camera when I'm filming. I don't know why. But I have three of them. I am wearing one today. And the first color I'm wearing, it's 225 Sultry. So I don't know if you'll be able to see the name. But it's 225 Sultry. And it's just like the regular kind. These are very buttery and like super, super intense and pigmented. And they do last. Um, they do last. The color tends to fade, but it does stain. And um, it's not um, really drying, in my opinion, for it being a matte balm. It's not really drying, at least in my opinion. Um... But I do usually wear a balm under any matte products anyways, just so I have a little bit of moisturizing because some matte products can be quite um, drying, but these aren't really drying at all. They feel, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> they feel really buttery and smooth and very creamy pigmented, and for it being a matte balm, it does have like that matte um, finish to it versus like a regular one it's just shiny and this is my matte balm so this is in 220 sultry the next two is 250 standout which is a red to me it's like a blue based red i want to say or a pink based red it looks like a blue based red i mean it looks a little bit brighter but it is quite darker in person so that is standout. The reason why I show it like this because that's what it actually does look like. So that is to um, 250 standout. And then this one is 215 shameless and this is a beautiful color. It's like it's a purple. Can you see it? In shameless, there it is. And you would think like, oh my gosh, a matte purple. It's pretty scary. Um, it is, it's wearable. It's not like, oh my goodness. I mean, I liked it when I first put it on. And these are all so like really pigmented and buttery. So that is shameless. Um, I had bought these two a while ago, but then when they were BOGO at Walgreens, so it was a while ago, because these are the last two left, and I was like, yes, and then this one I found at a CVS. Um, I like these. I don't, like the original ones, um, they're okay, they do, they all do the same thing, they stain, they wear, they wear off a little bit, um, and then I just reapply it maybe once throughout the time that I do wear them because the first time I apply it, bam, I don't have to reapply it. And then, like, if I happen to look in a mirror, like, oh my gosh, I like, kind of faded, but it's still stained, I'll just reapply it in there. I only reapply it once um, throughout the whole time that I'm wearing it. And, like, sometimes just if I just feel like reapplying it. So that's pretty much about it. But I'm pretty, it, they do, they did come out with, like, a lacquer um, line. I didn't really, um, Pay attention to them because I'm kind of more um, going towards more like the matte side so yeah um that's pretty much it and I only have three I didn't go crazy and buy like the whole entire collection because they didn't really appeal to me this is like a pinky mauve and then this is like a blue base red and then purple hmm. I don't know what kind of undertone it is but these are the three colors that I picked, and I am wearing um, Sultry. So, that's pretty much about it on these Revlon Colorburst Matte Bombs. 
leave any comments down below and please subscribe so thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye